Hello, I'm Jody Brenner Ginsburg, and today I want to speak with you about neck injuries. They can be some very difficult injuries, and we all know uh, what impact they can have on your your body and your ability to work or even function in many cases. We've had many cases that we have uh, represented folks on who have significant herniated discs in their neck. And the one thing that we tend to find in many of the situations is it's not just that your neck is involved in these cases, but it also creates pain into your shoulder, radiating pain down your arm, numbness and tingling in your fingers, and headaches. Um, and so first and foremost, it's really, really important that you mention all of the body parts that are bothering you when you go to the doctor. And I know that if your neck's hurting, you may not even be thinking about other things, but you need to take a deep breath and you need to let the doctor know if it's radiating pain going up into your head, causing you to have headaches. If it's radiating into your shoulder, down your arm, into your elbow at times, numbness and tingling in your fingers. Please, 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 let the doctor know of each and every body part that's a problem for you. Of course, there's going to be situations where the doctor's going to offer you medications and physical therapy. Sometimes those can help or at least alleviate some pain. Sometimes the therapy can shoot the pain way up and you need to report back to the doctor immediately if that's the case. With regard to injections, sometimes those are given to you, steroid injections, epidurals, and those are situations where the doctor is trying, if there's a disc injury in there and you've had an MRI, which you can certainly ask the doctor to run, and you should when you're not getting any better after several weeks perhaps or sometimes several days if you're having really significant pain uh, but getting those that MRI done is extremely important because it then allows you to pinpoint and the doctor to pinpoint where that injury is where the disc injury is obviously having a significant neck injury is nothing to play around with uh, I have deposed many orthopedic surgeons and when that disc is being compressed and there's a nerve injury higher up in the neck, you are at great risk to be paralyzed because if you have that disc injury and a nerve compression injury and you're just walking and you trip and fall, that could be a disaster for you. So very, very important to get the proper diagnosis. Call us about who, what kind of specialty doctor you're going to need to see, whether it's an orthopedic surgeon, a neurosurgeon, a physical therapist, whatever the case may be in your particular circumstance. But there are no uh, types of injuries with regard to the neck that you should be playing around with and not take seriously. There are significant injuries in many cases and we are here to help you. Please give us a call at 770-351-0801 and we'll be more than glad to speak with you about your neck injury. Thank you. Hi, this is Jody, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to know more about all rights and benefits available to you under the Georgia Workers Injury Laws, I'd like to invite you to download my Georgia Workers Compensation Survival Kit that I created for folks just like you. Some of the topics I cover include, can I get fired for filing a work injury claim? Eight critical mistakes to avoid. Is it true that the insurance company will hire a private investigator to follow me around and videotape my activities? What happens when the insurance company is late with my weekly wage payments? Seven specific tactics I recommend to maximize your case settlement value. If you or a loved one needs to maximize your recovery from your Georgia workers' compensation claim, you'll find this survival kit important reading. Download your survival kit right now and at no cost. Just visit my website and sign up. It's that easy. Please act now, and as always, I wish you the best. Hi, this is Jody, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to know more about all rights and benefits available to you under the Georgia Workers' Injury Laws, I'd like to invite you to download my Georgia Workers' Compensation Survival Kit that I created for folks just like you. Some of the topics I cover include, can I get fired for filing a work injury claim? Eight critical mistakes to avoid. Is it true that the insurance company will hire a private investigator to follow me around and videotape my activities? What happens when the insurance company is late with my weekly wage payments? Seven specific tactics I recommend to maximize your case settlement value. If you or a loved one needs to maximize your recovery from your Georgia workers' compensation claim, you'll find this survival kit important reading. 
Download your survival kit right now and at no cost. Just visit my website and sign up. It's that easy. Please act now, and as always, I wish you the best.